Right guys, Travelling Blade here, back again for another away vlog. Today United travel to Goodison Park, take on Everton. Everton currently sit about 10th, I believe. Um, they've got two more points than us, whereas United, we sat at about, I think we sat 15th. Only one point above the relegation zone, but it's still early days, it's still early days. We go into today's game, coming off the back of a 1-0 loss to Southampton, which is very frustrating. We had a goal ruled out by VAR, rightly so. Billy Sharp got sent off, so he won't be able to play today. Mo Besic uh, isn't available to play today because he's on loan from Everton. But obviously the other Everton old boy, Phil Jagielka, will be able to play. It'll be interesting to see if he features today. I think he might come on maybe as a sub. I don't think he'll start. Apparently Callum Robinson is fully recovered from his injury that he picked up whilst playing for the Republic of Ireland. I'd like to see him start today, to be honest. I'd like to see Moosehead start today. Um, I don't know if McGoldrick will start. It's, it's going to be very interesting to see how the uh, top two line up. I like to see Freeman start as well, probably in favour instead of Fleck. I imagine the rest, the back, you know, the defence will stay the same. It'll be interesting to see if Robinson features today on who starts up top. Will McGoldrick start after he's missed a lot of chances? While has got some interesting decisions to make at uh, the top end of the field uh, for Emmett Everton. They've got Gomez out, which is probably decent for us. He's a very good player for them. I think he missed the last game against Bournemouth, which I believe they lost. It's going to be a very difficult away day. A very hard place to go from what I've seen and heard in the past. Shout out to Tom Turner, my flatmate from Uni, who's a big Everton fan over there today. I think it's going to be tricky. Once again, I'd take, I'd take a point. Take a point on the road. I'd, best, I'd be very, very happy with the point. Let's hope for another late, you know, another late equaliser. We seem to like them at the, on the road at the minute. I'd be very happy with that. But yeah, it's going to be hard today. Going to be hard. And next game's Liverpool as well. So it only gets harder. But let's just hope we can pick up something on the road. Mick here, what's your score prediction for today, mate? 2-0. 2 0 to United. Jesus. That's optimistic. Jesus. Who would you reckon will score? Well, I think I'll come from a defender, I reckon. He jags you play him, definitely. Aye. Oh, yeah. uh, Do you reckon he'll celebrate? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm here with the Donny Blades. What are we saying today, lads? We are the way! We are the way! Bob's not in. We are the way! 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 We are I reckon. Gold route. I reckon. Gold Mc 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 Robinson. And I've been there the equaliser. People will draw one. Asking Everton for that. He's asking to score for Tom. What do you reckon to score today, is, mate? 3 1. To Everton. <laughs> oh, get out. The boots. The boots. The boots is on fire. I like to moose it, moose it. I like to moose it, moose it. I like to moose it, moose it. I like to. Moosey! I like to Moosey, Moosey! I like to Moosey, Moosey! I like to Moosey! I like to Moosey! Get the new cat on, get the new cat on the wall. Look at that. Two pounds fifty. Got Marley here, what's your score prediction for today, mate? I can't see it being anything good. I'm going to say 3-1 Everton. Really? I, I don't know, it's just... Uh, at home, last time I think they won 3-2 were in at Wolves. I mean, Wolves don't have the best start, but I don't know, I'm not too confident. We outshot, maybe the dressing room might be lost, but, but who knows? I'm up with yeah. the results first away day of the season, so let's see how it goes. Aye. They've got good home form, but I'm going to all. I reckon we can. We, uh, we could sneak a point. Hopefully, we could yeah. Sneak a point. Aye. Let's hope for the best. Come on, you believe. <laughs>
I'm saying 2 all. My head says 2 1 Everton, my heart says 2 all United. I can't see his lead yet. What about a draw? Mate, mm, depends how the we thing start. Is, you've got incredible home form, that's the thing. Mm. Depends how, if we start shaky, get on top of us, crowd gets on top of them, you never know what happens. Who knows? I think we'll win though. Alright. Fucking beast of her away. I didn't know we were back in League One, jeez. Alright, so the lineup's out, it's the uh, same, mid, uh, same defence, same midfield. Blake, uh, Lundstrom and Norwood and um, it's uh, McBurney Robinson up front personally I'd have started a um, Mousset on the front of uh, McBurney but I'd have started a Freeman in front of a Fleck but in Wilder we trust it's a good line up hopefully it's enough to get something from today just a point it's going to be a very tricky away game they've got an incredible home form so let's just hope we can get a point uh, today, mate. I think we're drawing in then Draw nil nil. Oh, yeah, you don't see Everton scoring. I think solid defence, I can't see scoring against. Wow, that's some optimism. Not sunny here, what do you reckon, mate? 1 1, yeah. Um, Who do you reckon will score for United? I don't know. With the strikers coming on and off, I'll say McBurney. 1 1. McBurney, alright. Let's go quite early on, I think.
King Kamal! 1 0 United! 1 0! Fuck knows who scored! Fuck knows who scored! All I know is United have scored! VAR confirmed it! A fucking last! Come on! Alright, so half time, Everton 0, United 1. Everton have had four more of the play. Um, four, four, four more of the play. But on the flip side, they've only forced Henderson into one, maybe two safe. United, however, we, we've struggled to get shots on goal. We really have. We got a corner. Apparently, it was a known goal. But I don't care. We've got a goal. Let it be a known goal. I don't care. Zuma at Chelsea, whoever the bloody hell scored here, we've got a goal out of nothing, literally nothing. Fully against the run of play. It's going to be a very hard second half. Everton are playing well. They're all overs most of the time. They've got all the ball, all the attacking plays, Everton. And it, you know, it's going to be. It's gonna, we're gonna do, if we get a clean sheet today, that's gonna be a fucking miracle. They're all over us.
full time Everton nil, United two. What a game! What a day! Well, I say what a game. Um, what a result! What a result! What a day! What another fantastic away day with United. We're playing better on the road than we are at home at the minute. We well, I say that. We didn't even play that well. I think yesterday we registered two shots overall, one of which was on target. Scored twice, thanks to uh, our uh, now top scorer this season, uh, own goal. So, really hope we, you know, can sign, you know, lock him down in a new contract. OG done a lot, done a lot for us so far this season. Popped up at very important times with some important goals. Quite a surreal day. I didn't expect anything. I, I wanted a point. I'd have been very happy with a point. I'd have taken a draw. I think the last time they lost at home was against Man City, the last team to not concede. To keep a clean sheet at Goodison was Liverpool. They have a fantastic home record. They can play very well. They've got some very good players like Richarlison, Sigurdsson. They brought Walker on. Um, they've got Bernard. They've got some fantastic players. Fantastic home record. And I thought it was going to be a very hard game. And they did dominate play. They dominated well. They dominated possession. Um, but that said, I'm talking about the amount of shots we had. I um, I only think um, Everton had about three on target. Looking at the stats on BBC. They didn't really shoot that much. Um, every, anything they did fire on goal was dealt with rather comfortably by Dean Henderson. He didn't have too much to do. He came out, cleared a few crosses. A few times where I think it was um, Keane, he closed him down. There was a few, uh, there was one earlier on from Matt Bin Dean, I think it was, uh, that he saved early on in the, fairly early on in the first half. So every, anything they did have on target was dealt with rather comfortably by Henderson. He did everything he needed to do. England's number one. Not flipping uh, Pickford in the other net. But, um, like I said, we had about 30% possession. But the game just shows how well we defended. Egan was absolutely incredible. An absolute rock at the back. Blocking everything, heading everything out. Um, obviously, Bash and O'Connell there as well. Those back three were just an absolute brick wall yesterday. Hence how we managed to keep a clean sheet away from home at Goodison Park. There were, you know, when, when it was 1-0, even before that, just getting blocks in, closing them down. Um, more subtle things, just the positioning and uh, closing down that just led to Everton having to force them wide, which they didn't want to do. I think another standout performance was John Lundstrom. I thought he was fantastic yesterday. The assist from John Lundstrom was sublime. A fant absolutely fantastic assist from Lundstrom. Perfectly weighted ball, just at the right angle. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's a big game for him. He spent, I think, he spent 13 years at Everton, never got into the first team. He said himself he was looking out uh, before the game. He was looking when the fixtures came out for Everton. And he said, I wanted to go there and prove a few people wrong. He definitely did that. He was absolutely fantastic and got a, landed himself a fine assist for our second goal, which was finished excellently. I mean, it was a good assist, but, you know, it still needed a good finish from at least Mousset, Mousset. Either way, the moose buried it. Fantastic finish, nutmegged Pickford, and it was um, it was a, another cracking performance from the moose when he came on. It was dangerous, um, pace, strength. I, th I think he's a real threat for us. I think he's going to be a real asset for us this season. I'd have started him. I think he should start the next game, uh, at least Liverpool at home. Um, forget the Sunderland Cup game, but for me, he should start uh, Liverpool at home. But he was absolutely fantastic. McBurney, I thought, it was okay, but sort of got taken out of the game slightly here and there. Wilder came out and said we had, we deserved something from the Leicester game and especially the Southampton game. I think we let ourselves down there and we were very wasteful, whereas today we've, we've been very clinical. One shot on target, two goals. It's been a very different kind of performance, a very different kind of way of winning. I mean, getting 2-0, talk about smash and grab, 1-0. You know, even one nil was a smash and grab, but to get that second as well on the counter. But there you go. I always say you've got to take your chances in the league. And to be fair, Everton didn't even have that many shots on target, so it's not like Henderson was saving every. You know, had a busy afternoon. So I think it's credit to the defence and I suppose the midfield as well for how we've set up and closed Everton down and stopped them from playing the way they want to. And you know, although they dominated possession. They didn't really um, dominate us, I suppose. They didn't really dominate us. We stopped them from playing. We had our systems set up, stuck to it, and it's worked. And we managed to nab the one chance that we did have, and then obviously a bit of luck. I mean, we say we say people say oh the own goal was lucky, but.
but I think we have to give credit to Norwood because we're usually quite poor at corners. And although it didn't reach a United head, it was fantastically whipped in by Norwood, um, which obviously put Yeri Mina under a lot of pressure and forced him into a mistake. But no, it was a great delivery by Norwood at least. And But apart from that, I think the fans yesterday for United were absolutely incredible. We were so loud. Um, I've seen Liverpool fans tweeting saying that when we scored, they thought Everton had scored, but they realised it was just the away end. Um, we were so allowed throughout, absolutely fantastic away day with the Donny Blades. Um, quite an interesting one as well in certain aspects, but no, a great away day um, and the incredible result. Not the best performance by United, we were very much out of the game, but hey, when you get two goals like that, come away from three, come away with three points from a very hard place to go, I can't complain. It gets harder though, next week we've got Liverpool at home, hopefully Egan, Lundstrom and the likes of Moussa have another uh, blind of a game and we can get a point from that Pff, I tell you what if we get a clean sheet against Liverpool good god almighty what a flipping there with scenes never mind winning as if we keep a clean sheet but yeah it's going to get be tricky against Liverpool but it's been um, that's a nice three points a good three points it's just um, made it a, an even better start to the season and credit to Wilder for for the tactical genius that he is. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade, and I'll see you for Sunderland at home in the Cup.